forward. A dandy Andy odds here. A tissue goes in, and Vow and Declare the Marvel is going to complete the line. The Tab Australian Cup. The field is set. Mr. Brightside a little bit edgy. They're ready. Gates are back and they're racing and Mr. Brightside away pretty well. Pride of Jenny jumped with them. Esty Feeney led from Legato. Young Verd has dug up. Mr. Brightside's also booting up. Now Pride of Jenny using plenty of the track makes a line of five and they're a length and a half. Vow and Declare, a tissue, Dom to shoot and Cascadian. Interesting tactics early. Young Verda wants a piece of the action. Also in the group there is Esty Feeney. Mr. Brightside's holding his place and Pride of Jenny is steadily working forward. He wants the front baits, but he's not going to rush there. And at the 1,400 metres, he got over Pride of Jenny to lead now by two and a half lengths. Estefini second, Mr. Brightside third, and fourth is Young Verta. Two and a quarter of Tissue and Legato, and then Dom to shoot. Second last, Vow and Declare, and last year's winner, Cascadian, is at the end. 1,200 metres to go. This is what she loves, Pride of Jenny. She's out clear by five or six lengths in the Australian Cup. Estefini second, a length, Mr. Brightside. A length and a quarter, Young Verta. Then came a tissue, Legato, Dom to shoot, Vow and Declare, and Cascadians, 15 lengths at least off Pride of Jenny. 850 metres to go, she quickens it up to the 800. Pride of Jenny, six lengths in front of Esty Feeney, Mr. Brightside. Two for the back is Young Verta. They were followed next by a tissue as they run the turn from Legato, Vow and Declare. Well back in the field is Dom to shoot and Cascadian last. So Pride of Jenny looks 500 metres in front of her. About five lengths, Mr. Brightside. Side heeled along under the whip, Esty Feeney. A tissues travelling, got a run between horses. Then Legato, Young Verta, and behind them, Vow and Declare. Pride of Jenny, 300 metres to go. Four links in front. A tissues trying to grind her down. Then Mr. Brightside, Cascadian. Pride of Jenny, she can run through walls at the 150, but a tissue and Cascadian are coming at her. Pride of Jenny at the 100. Cascadian wearing her down. Pride of Jenny at the 50. Cascadian's got up to her. A brilliant finish. Third a photo. Vow and Declare or a tissue. Then Mr. Brightside. Behind them, Legato. Young Verda Estefini. And Dom De Shoot was last of all. Everything that was drawn up about the 162nd Australian Cup has played out over a spectacular two minutes. Cascadian becomes the first since Harlem in 2018 and 19 to go back to back. He wins his second and third attempts at the great race. And Ben Mellum becomes the first jockey since Cyril Small aboard Vorogue in 1989 and 90 to go back to back on the same horse. What a spectacular performance. And look at the time, all set up by Pride of Jenny. Two minutes, 0 0.05. Just a smidge quicker than Michael Walker did on Spillway in 2015. The fastest edition of the Australian Cup we've seen since Maccabi Diva set the track record in 2005. What performances in behind? Pride of Jenny, so brave and courageous, and a tissue was starting to motor, but to her outside was Cascadian and Ben Mellum. He is with Charlotte Littlefield, and he is the back-to-back -back winner of the Australian Cup. Well, watching that unfold, you're out the back, just smoking your pipe, waiting for it to all unfold, good bit of speed up front, and you just mowed them down late. Yeah, and that's, that's the way he loves it too. Um, I tell you what, James and the good old team have done a tremendous job with this horse. He ran really well the other day, um, like he did last year in the All-Star Mile. He ran super and came out and won. And for a nine-year-old, I tell you what, if you could ever declare all going to the barriers, this, this is him because he was, couldn't have been in any better order, um, which gave me confidence to ride, ride him the way I wanted to. And like I said, he just loves pinching runs, sneaking around the place. and. Um, yeah, he's just too good for him. He's an absolute class athlete. What does it mean to be winning these Group 1s? Oh, it's tremendous. And, and, you know, to see a horse at his age and still beating the best, you know, the best horses in the land um, at this trip, it's, it's phenomenal to see and it's a, it's a credit to the whole, whole operation. So it's a pleasure to be a part of it. Um, and, yeah, it's a massive feat for, for him to be able to win two in a row. Well, you rode that absolutely perfectly. I think one of the... Uh, contest for ride of the day so go and enjoy it thank you ride of the year i reckon <laughs>
Camille joins me. I know how much Cascadian means to you. Now, you've obviously had success as a striper at the top level uh, with Haydock, but you've got some tears today. What does he mean to you? Oh, he, this horse means a lot. I'm not, like, I don't have to see him really often because he's more based in Sydney, but when he comes down to Melbourne, like, he's just... He just make me so happy, like, uh, I just wait for him at the gate, like a little girl, wait for a Christmas gift, you know, like, he's, he's just like such a beautiful horse and a beautiful soul, like, he gives his heart out every time he tries to, he, he's, I mean, like, he race and he's just showed everything again today that he was one of the best um, race horse on the 2000 meters Flemington at the high level, so... I just I could not be happier today. Fantastic result for you. He's on his way in. We'll let you go and give him a big hug. Thank you so much. Thank you. The Seam Dilmi joins us. Cascading goes back to back in a spectacular Australian Cup. You're shaking and you're one of the calmest people I've seen on a race course. Uh, what was that like to take in? Yeah, we knew tactics were going to be a bit tricky. Obviously, pride of Jenny uh, over the 2000 and... Uh, Declan rode a great race and the tempo suited him perfect. Uh, but gee, when they came out the top of the straight and he was travelling, we knew a long way he was, was going to give it a, a good shake. And once he peeled out, it, Ben Millam timed it perfectly and yeah, it, was, it, it was great. How were you able to manage him through the last couple of weeks after another superb run in the All Star Mile? Uh, he, he, he's pretty easy to do anything with. If anything, it was actually really fresh the last few days. so. We had to keep him as calm as possible, and he came today in, in great order. And when we saddled him up, he, when we did the girth, he actually grabbed hold of the strapper's arm and wouldn't let go. So we knew he was on song today, and gee, back to back, it's unreal. Pretty amazing. He's a nine-year-old by Northern Hemisphere time. I think it might have actually been nine officially during the course of the week. He's just a horse that got better and better with age. What do you put that down to? Yeah, he actually, he turned nine on Tuesday, so... He's, uh, no, he's, he's, he carries on like he's such a young horse still. He's got so much more racing in him. And it's just, uh, oh, he, he, he's, he's just such a good horse to have in the stables. Keeps all the staff happy. And uh, he's, gee, you would want, you'd love to have 10 of him in the stables because he's, he's doing everything like you want him to. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a it's great pleasure to have him there. Two of our iconic races here at Flemington, a new market and Australian Cup in your first festival of racing, overseeing the Melbourne operation. It's a special moment 